Hi, I'm Rod from Leyden's Owl. Uh, today I'm just going to talk a, a little bit about uh, Great Pyrenees, uh, if you're thinking about breeding. Uh, we've been breeding Pyrenees for a few years. Uh, this year we decided no more breeding. Well, at least not this year. Uh, maybe next year, we're still not 100% sure. Uh, this is Stormy. She's our female. She's the mama. She's had three litters. And we're not sure if we want to breed her again because, uh, I mean, she's like our baby, right? She does her job. This is Logan. He's lying in the back. You notice that the, the gate is closed. She's in the front and he's in the back. It's because Stormy's in full-blown heat right now. So, yeah, they can't be together now for the next, oh, three weeks. They have to be separated or we're going to have puppies that we don't want. So it's a little bit of a challenge. Uh, pretty hard to keep a 200-pound dog away from a female when he wants to get next to her. But because our dogs are trained really well for electric fencing, and Logan is a unique dog. I mean, he's pretty calm and laid back until something comes on the property that's not supposed to be here. Uh, Stormy's a little bit more hyper. She's a bit more of a hussy than what he is. So she always tries to entice him. So we have to keep them separated. I let them get together as long as I'm like right there and I'm not doing anything other than just paying attention to the two dogs. So yeah, so you know, things can be tricky. We're lucky because Logan's so laid back, but uh, I know a few people who's had uh, Pyrenees and uh, the big male would just tear their fence apart to get at the female. And my biggest problem now is, is I don't leave her outside at night because uh, a dog that's in heat can actually attract coyotes. For me, it's mainly coyotes. We don't really have wolves here, but our coyotes are a cross between a timber wolf and a coyote, so they're big dogs. I don't want any extra reason to have coyotes showing up on the property, so we keep her inside at night. Which is a bit of a pain in the butt because she likes to wake her dad up at 3 o'clock every single morning wanting out. Because she's not used to being inside at night, she's used to being out, but when she's in heat she don't get outside at night. Logan's okay, he's outside by himself, he don't like to come in. See, this is how laid back Logan is. Loki. Only thing he's interested in is her, not me. He don't care what I have to say today. He just wants to be out with her, but he'll just lie there and watch like a great big old bear. He is. He's a good boy. Uh, Stormy, she's just a lovable thing. She loves everybody. She's even more lovable when she's in heat. She just loves the attention. So, yeah. I mean, I'm fortunate because my property is fenced with electric fence. So, I have my... The back of my property is actually electrified on its own and the front of my property is electrified on its own. So I'm fortunate that way that I can keep uh, one dog in the front yard and the other one in the backyard. So yeah, it's, it can be challenging at times. I mean, Great Pyrenees can be challenging dogs anyway. But they're one of the most loyal dogs that you can get. Uh, they can be very protective. Uh, they really don't like people yelling at them or, you know, you try to smack a Pyrenees, they don't like that. You don't do that to a Pyrenees. For me, they respond way better to praise. Uh, uh, they're just lovable to me. I've had them for years, so, I mean, I don't really have problems with them. Uh, we had to, uh, well, we rescued one last December. And uh, she just did not get along with Stormy. There for about a month or so, we thought we had the problem conquered. But, uh, yeah, it just didn't work out. Uh, she kind of really got into Stormy and, uh, you know, caused... They got into, like, a pretty major fight. I was in my greenhouse and I come running up and she had Stormy pinned down chewing on her. So, that was the last. So, I ended up rehoming her. To another homestead, they didn't have any dogs, so and she's good. She was good with people, just not good with Stormy. She was good with Logan, but not with another female. So we rehomed her to a good home. 
and uh, uh, she's on a homestead now, all by herself, for now. So that's a good thing, because we uh, we just didn't want anybody getting hurt. We tried for six months, but we just couldn't take that chance anymore. Not with Storm. Stormy's my girl, as you can see. She's always a big suck to me. Logan's like, yeah, whatever. I'm here. Now, don't get me wrong. Logan likes the attention too, but he's not like her. She's my big baby. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, it's not much information, but uh, I just thought I'd let you know the joys of breeding, or when you're not breeding and you have a female that's not fixed. Yeah, it can be challenging. Even breeding can be challenging. Uh, like, uh, I love it when people come and they say when we have puppies that, uh, how can you let all those puppies go? Like, won't you miss them? Yeah, we will miss them. But do you know how much work seven, eight puppies are? They're pooping and heating machines. So yeah, it's a lot of work. I'm glad to see them when they go. I'm glad to see that they go to good homes. We always uh, uh, keep track of our dogs on Facebook. So yeah, they're all doing really well. Our last litter is fantastic. Yep, we had uh, two sets of puppies. Like uh, two puppies went to one home, two puppies went to another home. So. They won't even be lonely, and a couple of our other ones went to a farm. And I think the last one went to a family with uh, five kids. So yeah, they got their work cut out for them. But that's a good thing, and they're all doing really well. These guys are great when they're raised with kids. Well, they're great with kids anyway, but... Uh... Alright, thanks for watching. And if you like the video, uh, leave a like. Maybe leave a comment or ask any questions that you could think of. If you're considering breeding your Great Pyrenees, shoot me a message. I'll do my best to answer your questions. Uh, we've been breeding for a while. Uh, our dogs are not show dogs. They're usually work dogs. So for us, papers don't mean much. They're just papers. All right.